so good morning i have a pretty busy week today i have a pretty busy week today that doesn't make sense i have a pretty busy week this week i'm like really not feeling that good if i'm being honest i woke up kind of nauseous and stuff so right now i am just going to since this is what kind of got me out of bed i really wanted to set up this spread this is for the romanceopoly reading challenge that's hosted by under the covers book blog i was introduced to this reading challenge by serena from dame arcane creations i really think it's a fun thing it's basically 40 prompts and it's 40 romance prompts and you know originally i thought like i'm gonna do this kind of you could have two ways that the creator talked about it which was either rolling dice or doing it one by one i personally was like oh let me print out the cards and then i can like pick a card and like i can create a little pocket in my bullet journal but like i'll show you the problem with this oh no i'll show you the problem with this this is not gonna work okay so i'll probably won't do that maybe i'll just paste in when i read them but i am gonna still use it choose my book using these i'm sorry if i'm not making much sense i just woke up but yeah today's a pretty busy day i've had i've been working on this research project for the past couple of months and it's kind of like coming to a head and i'm <laughs> kind of tired already <laughs> so it's not just tired i think i'm also just like i feel like something and i feel like i've talked about it a lot on my channel so i'm sorry if you're hearing it again and again or if you speak to me in real life i also talk about it um going through like the match season you are like kind of held hostage if like you don't have like good coping mechanisms by the fact that like you don't know what you're doing with your life um, and like everything feels like kind of up to chance because like you literally can't make any plans for the future until March of the next year. So I personally think that is barbaric. And also like for a planner like me, it's not what I want. So what I'm thinking of doing for this spread, I wanted to put the board in. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the next thing I'm going to do, oh no, oh no. The next thing I'm going to do is then when I start reading them, I'm going to write them on the side. Like Courtship Row, that's the book I read for that. So I'm really excited for this. This is very creative. And I think that like, I don't know why I've been craving a lot of like, like, I feel like just reading challenges in general. I really wanted to do them. Oh, no, 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 no. This has to like land perfectly because I have to fold this page. Ay, ay, ay. I should have cut this in half. Okay, note to self, or like note to you if you decide to do a spread like this, including this, fold it in half, like cut it so that it's not like, maybe I can still cut it. Mm, I'm kind of lazy. At this hour in the morning, at this godforsaken hour. It's not straight. I think it was actually my edges that weren't straight when I cut it, but yeah. I think it looks nice it's fine okay i'm already regretting this because it's making that the pages won't lie flat okay you know it's just one of those days apparently where my laziness got the best of me okay i'm gonna have to cut that it's so sad i have to cut the graphic in half No, that's too high. Oh, another day, another crisis averted. Okay, uh, you can still kind of see like the thing, but I feel like you can already see like the pages getting fat from things I've glued in and stuff. In other news, let's talk about the books that I'm reading this week since it's kind of like a reading blog as well. Let me go get them. So my goal this week is actually to read Magnolia Parks which is our book club pick for the Confused Queens book club, which I'm a co-host of, and the Game of Thrones, I want to finally finish it. I'm actually on page 489, so I'm around like 70-ish percent done with it. It's just like taking a while, and I think also it's the fact that, you know, I kind of know what's happening, and I don't want to get there because I'm like, oh my god, all your stupid decisions have led to this moment. <laughs> Ned Stark. Uh, anyways, so with that, I'm going to get to work. I have to work on my research stuff. I feel like pretty crummy right now. Let's do
I'm so tired. Hello, update time for what I'm currently reading and I'm gonna be updating as I cut this. This is gonna be the last reading challenge that I do in 2023. But like, I've always seen it every year and I, I wanna try it. This is Books and Lala's Bud Buzzword 2023 reading challenge. And yeah, so I'm gonna be cutting this and I'll set this up later in the vlog in my reading journal, common planner, and like I'll talk about the books I think I'm gonna be reading for each one of these things. The updates that I have were concerned Game of Thrones and the play which is the third book in the prior you universe uh, series and so we can start with game of thrones currently i am on page 559 out of around like 700 let me see actually no i think it's less 674 pages that's that's where I'm at. Almost done. I'm really excited to finish it because actually the book I'm going to pick up after this, like the next fantasy book I'm going to pick up after this is going to be Era Fates, which if you don't know, Katie from Phantom Fable, she is an author and she asked me to beta read her most recent work in progress and hopefully it'll be out. I think definitely it's going to be out. It's already on Goodreads. I'm going to link it down below. Give a little shout out to Katie. I'm going to be reading that after, but I wanted to finish it because I don't like reading too many fantasies at the same time because then I get to get like I get confused overall I'm liking it I feel like I'm taking a while to get through it just literally because I'm in the last portion of the book like you know when all the bad things happen to Danny and to Ned and it's just like really upsetting uh, I understand sounds a bit more but also I'm like you foolish girl and also where's Arya I haven't seen her since the last book like they haven't really featured her I think she comes out later on like I think we get like you know the the scene from her perspective if I'm not mistaken but yeah like ugh. it's just that Prince Joffrey is such like an inbred little either way so I cut this out it's done that was easy and that's gonna be a spread and I'm gonna go through the books I'm gonna actually list out the books I'm gonna read for each one of them I want to use these challenges to go through my current like tbr and my current books that i have on red more than anything so i'm definitely going to be focusing on that oh is this tilted okay and then the next book that i have i've been reading it on kindle i've read the entire series on kindle and i'm gonna say like l kennedy has been someone that i read and i'm like this is camp in the sense of like she acts like college is like it's very unrealistic like and i know that obviously you have to suspend disbelief when it comes to a lot of these books that like of romantic comedies but this one like hits new levels usually for example having dorm room parties where like everyone's being served alcohol and like they're all freshmen and you're like excuse me like they're 18 that's illegal in the united states people that are in like this like elite university called briar u and they um are partying all the time and maybe it was just because i was pre-med so i didn't party as much but like that like doesn't seem it because like the main character in this one is a pre-med latina biracial girl so she is um black and latina and like it's a bit frustrating to read because one like she it's like very like a much a caricature of like what it means to be a latina but also it's like if you're gonna be a biracial person at a predominantly white institution like your experience is gonna be very different from um like the experiences of like your white peers and like that's not to say it's a bad experience i'm just gonna say it's different and like you really like can't tell that this character is hispanic other than like the hola mommy or like references to old hip-hop songs that she knows so much about because she's half black and you're like hmm I'm gonna need a little bit more Miss Kennedy. And then also this like a nuance thing because this is like, just like because of who I am and like what I do. So like the main character, she's like, I am a pre-med student because my father's a surgeon, my mother is a nurse and but like i like the mind and i'm obsessed with psychology and i'm a psych major and like i've always been a sciencey gal uh she does say somewhere that she's like oh as i started college like and i've had to take more science classes i've started liking them less and less and i'm like i understand that um but anyways so she's saying all of this and then she's like talk like they do like some sort of weird assignment that like her and hunter who is like the main character this is Demi, Demi Davis. She ends up being like, oh, if I want to be a clinical psychologist, I need to get used to hearing patients uh, say weird and crazy things without judging them. And you're like, wait, a clinical psychologist is not the same thing as 
a medical student and like they study like um like they, they study like basically the same amount because to be a clinical psychologist i believe you need a phd so like you're studying like six years after five to six years after uh your bachelor so like they study a, a shitload but it's just like a different career path they're not pre-med because they don't go to medical school like if what she wants is to become a doctor then she wants to become like a forensic psychiatrist or something like that if that's like what she wants but like she's saying how she likes abnormal personality disorders and all that sort of thing and then she says the words i want to be a clinical psychologist and i'm like not the same not the same and that could have been solved with like a google search you know anyways so that's it i think like i'm finishing it because like it's gonna be it's a group read and also like the people i'm reading it with, with like lisa and sarah we've been reading the entire like el kennedy verse together for some reason <laughs> because we enjoy it but like they're they're also echoing some of the same concerns i have when it comes to the book uh but yeah anyways uh i'm gonna like gotta go maybe sleep uh and then i will do some journaling uh and also like you know my real life stuff that i have to do so bye hello so let's sit down and do some journaling for this week so let's pace this again as i mentioned this is going to be the last 2023 reading challenge that i say i'm going to do let me take this off because i don't like how it reflects also what if i get a notification that is raunchy or something <laughs> these are all spreads i'm gonna be honest though when i had like a habit tracker that really worked for me it was like the one that was like weekly so i think i might be keeping that in my cousin but yeah i'm gonna paste this here i guess and then like i don't know what i'll do here mm. You know what? I think that I'll probably have more books that I want to get to than in one page. I'm going to make that a two-page spread or like at least have it so it can be open. By the way, um, spoiler alert, The Stolen Air won as the first book that we're going to read in January for our for the book club that I'm part of. So in case you're wondering, uh, that's it. Um, and let's talk about the books that I chose for each of these categories. Let me first paste it and then we can talk about it with calm. In Spanish, you say con calma. And I feel like that was the direct translation that I just said. People don't say things. We can talk about it calmly. After doing the ranking page that I made another thing, I don't know where it is. This one, I'm like, I never want to do that again. That was so long, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this page. Um, okay, the middle. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I didn't really cut it perfect either. Oh my god. I really didn't cut this perfect now that I'm looking at it, but this is fine. Okay, so for January, Life and Death, I picked The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which is a book that I've owned for like two years already and I haven't gotten to. I actually have never read anything by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab, so, um, which are the same person, but yeah. That's the first one I have. For February, it, the theme is Ver, and I picked We Hunt the Flame, another book that I've owned for a really long time and I have not gotten to, but I'm really excited because the premise seems amazing. And I know that there was like a lot of people that said that they didn't like it or that it was hyped up. I think that's like with any book that's like really, really popular, you're inevitably gonna reach maybe a more mainstream audience or an audience that doesn't usually read the books like that. And they're gonna be like, oh no. Um, then the next one, March, I picked The Secret History and I'm gonna be honest, I don't own this book, but I really did look for a book that had secret in it and I don't own one. So I was like, you know what? That means I can read this one. If I find something that I own um, in my bookshelves, which I have looked quite extensively, then I will, you know, use another one. I thought maybe of using The Silence of the Girls, but that's like technically not secret. I know that she said quiet, I think uh but yeah i want it to be more exact so the secret history by donna tar i'm really excited for that one it's like one of those books that everyone talks about so i'm very interested to see what i think next april emotions the wrath and the dawn um by renee adelaide i think that's her how you spell it ad adie i am only saying the ones i can see with my eyes right now and i can read the names of the authors then may orange this is a manga series uh i can't read the name of the author it's about someone who ends up being kind of tied to one of their classmates who dies and going back in time or something like that it sounds it sounds really good june her body and other parties i've also owned this book for a really long time i believe it's by carmen marie machado but maria machado i'm not sure 
if that's her name, but I'll have it on the screen. A Storm of Swords is my July book, which is Weather Words. And this is the third book of Game of Thrones. Right now I'm on the first book and these books take me a while so I could see myself reading the second book sometime in the early part of the year and then picking up A Storm of Swords in July, which I think is also crazy because I'm going to be in residency by then, hopefully. Cross my fingers. Insane. August Membranes. The Membranes. And this is actually a book that's on, let me find it, my read 20, like the 12 book challenge recommended by friends, this one. And this is Monica who recommended it, The Membranes by Chi Ta Wei. And apparently it's like a really short, I don't know if it's a collection of short stories, but I think it's gonna work. September Game Words. So I picked The Body Keeps the Score. This was actually a gift that my boyfriend gave me. He gave me like for some reason, like, um, not for some reason, it was like, for I think one of our anniversaries he gave me a bunch of books and like I don't think he read the titles because he gave me only non-fiction books so I'm gonna try to like you know read those books. October is magic words so I picked a darker shade of magic which I have not read again so getting to the Schwab books here. November is good and that the only good Indians this is a book that I also don't own I believe it's by Stephen I I don't know the name of the author because I've never read anything by them so I'm excited to pick it up and then the last one sound related words I really struggled with this one I ended up picking skip beat which is another manga and I have the first three volumes so I thought it would be you know a good opportunity I ended up actually writing all of these with this pen I know not a lot of people like the friction ball clicker pens which you can remove the words by friction do 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 you see ta-da but I decided since I might change these as the like months go on that it was a good idea to do it that way so yeah so now I'm just gonna watch a podcast and update do list and also update my five-year journal I'm really tired I feel like I don't know what it is like I don't we don't even have like time change like you guys do in like the normal hemisphere usually because like I'm so close to the equator but I just feel so tired when December comes I feel like it's like the time of the year I've also been kind of feeling like bad in terms of like my health so i'm like you know doing my best so let me see what i have so far i've edited the video that's exporting um i haven't actually worked out which i really wanted to i started doing this it was the play which i still haven't picked up again i should have so the only thing i'm missing is to fix those two things so what else am i gonna have to do so for my video i have to edit um now load and schedule it's like i think the british say like schedule schedule um anyways yes so i'll fill this one out and yeah i didn't do it yesterday so what did i do yesterday Hello, so I realized I never really closed out the vlog nor updated. I did in fact finish Game of Thrones, the first book, and let me go get it. I ended up really liking the book a lot more than I remember liking it the first time. I feel like I pick up on a lot more since I've seen the series and I've also read it before, but I didn't get so far. So like reading this after reading the series, if you like the series, I would say is like quite an enjoyable experience because you're able to pick up on clues that weren't available before. It was sad when, you know, everything hits the fan and um, Daenerys and Ned face really tragic circumstances. But I feel like compared to the first time, I have so much more sympathy for Sansa and I just really appreciate the writing a lot more and I'm really excited because this means this week I can get into Era of Fates, which is Katie Kalupi's book. So with that, I ended up actually purchasing uh, Clash of Kings and I think I'm going to pick it up in February with Val from Literary Papier. I'm excited because I'm excited to read it with her since she read this before I did so I could only speak to her in hindsight but I feel like it'll be exciting to like see her reactions and my reactions as this book goes along and I'm excited because I really don't remember much about these early seasons so like the key things you know like you know the, the things but not like details so I think it'll be really fun to read. 
I really like these like additions. They're big, they're chunky, they make me feel good. What else did I finish this weekend? I finally finished Son of Neptune. Shout out to Sarah the Rain Reads, uh, one of my co-hosts from the Confused Queens book club for having so much patience with me because it took me over six months to finish this book. And I really don't know why because it was a five star read, five out of five stars. Like if it could have six stars out of five, it would because it was just so fabulous. I love the Heroes of Olympus series and I'm really excited to continue it. But this book really made me realize that I think that what I was going through earlier in the year was that I was reading way too much all at the same time and way too many fantasy books all at the same time. So going forward, I'm only going to be reading one fantasy book at the time. And now that I finished this one, that's why I said I can go to Air Fates because that's the only other fantasy book that I'm reading. The play, I haven't really had any updates with that, but I'm supposed to finish it today because our goal is to read The Dare, which is the last book in this series by um, the end of the year. Since we started all of these hockey series by L. Kennedy this year, it would be just like perfect to finish them all and in terms of journaling i haven't really journaled much the only thing i've been trying to work on and i feel like it's okay that i didn't film it because i made so many mistakes if you haven't used one i know that not everyone likes them but the friction let me go get it so i can tell you the friction clicker pen removed by friction is really good if you make mistakes like i do for example so i was working on this spread which is my 23 books in 2023 i realized that i was gonna have way too much white space so i was able to adjust the size of the books let me see can you see so i was able to adjust this the size of the books to be bigger because originally they were like this size so it's gonna fit perfectly and it'll be 23 books in 2023 so far the books that i have are Babel. The Invisible Life of Ali LaRue, Legendborn, The Pride of the Orange Tree Violeta, The Stolen Air, Once Upon a Broken Heart, The Song of Achilles, Blade Breaker, Norwegian Wood, Anastasia by Sophie Lark. And what I'm planning to do is actually post like this spread on my Instagram explaining how I'm going to use it because it's not going to be like sticking the books on here just because like ink's expensive. <laughs> And especially after my debacle with printing out uh, the Romanceopoly cards, I was like, no, I, I can't do that again. So I was like, I'm just going to fill it in with color when I read it. And I'm going to write like the author name and everything like that. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I am definitely trying to get the hang of blogging, journaling, and all that sort of thing. Uh, it's new to me. Uh, if you like this video, let me know that you liked it. Also, let me know if you have any recommendations for how I can do it better. I am new at this, so like I think I'm new at just that like incorporating two parts of my life that I didn't incorporate before. Anyways, I'll see you next time.